Hi, my name is Tori Zala, and I'll be demonstrating the lab determination of a gas constant R. Uh, in this lab, we're going to be using the reaction between hydrochloric acid and magnesium metal to produce hydrogen gas. We'll be measuring the pressure, volume, temperature, as well as the moles of hydrogen gas, and using our PV equals NRT equation to find our gas constant R. So let's get started. You're going to start with 10 milliliters of our 3 molar HCl in a 50 milliliter cylinder, like so. You're also going to fill a 600 milliliter beaker with water up to this point. And you're going to place your temperature probe in the water. So this is my temperature probe. You'll have it hooked up into the computer and it will tell you both our pressure, because we have a pressure sensor, this is going to show the pressure of the room that you're going to need to record, and then the temperature of the water, which you'll also need to record. Okay. Next, you are going to slowly layer the H or the water on top of your HCl solution. Uh, to do this, you're going to tilt it to the side and make sure the water just runs down the side very slowly so the water and HCl don't mix. So this might take a second. Do it as slowly as possible to um, prevent mixing. And you're going to fill it all the way to the top. When we put our stopper on, we're going to make sure there's no air between the stopper and the water. Okay, when you have filled the water almost completely up in the container um, so that there's very little space between the top, you are going to measure um, the mass of your magnesium strip, which I have already done. Then you're going to attach it to your copper cage, which won't react with the HCl. It's just to hold the magnesium in place. Next, you are going to suspend your magnesium strip in the water carefully and place the stopper on top. So, like so. So it should hold up right there. Next, you're going to put your finger over the top of the stopper and quickly put it into the water. Once it's in the water, you can lift your finger up and you're just going to suspend it here. You can see that it is reacting and producing hydrogen gas. When the reactants are done reacting, you're going to measure or place the water, place the cylinder in the cylinder of water so that the water levels are the same on the outside and the inside. This will equalize the pressure. And from there, you're going to measure the volume. So right now, I have about 20... 24 milligrams of hydrogen gas. Milliliters of hydrogen gas. And that's everything.